Hello Living Dead Dolls fans, this is Josh, aka Doggy Pants, and I'm coming at you in partnership with Mezco Toys for another Living Dead Dolls review. So uh, today I'm, I'm actually really excited. We're going to be taking a look at the first Resurrection doll of Series 12, the Resurrection Series 12, um, which is of course Frozen Charlotte. So a lot of you have probably heard that Mezco is doing things slightly different this year, and that is they are releasing the dolls separately so that everybody gets a chance to buy the ones that they want as opposed to the dolls in a set. So we have Frozen Charlotte uh, out last month. I believe we might get another one this month, and then we'll see what's going to happen after that. If there's going to be variants, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> uh, yeah, but keep an eye out. So I want to show you everything that came in the package for uh, the Resurrection doll, and then we'll take a look at the doll itself. So first up, what we got in the package were a few other little items. Um, of course, Mezco has been sending out a lot of like promotional cards, so we have uh, a lot of items, especially for the 112 line with Mezco. So you got all kinds of things here. That came with mine, and then I also had a brochure for the summer exclusives for Mesco Toys, and that's the exclusives that we saw at San Diego Comic-Con in particular, uh, which of course was Frozen Charlotte, the Batman Beyond uh, 112, and then also the Punisher that is crazy, crazy uh, rare, and people are freaking out over. So if you have him well done, you may make some money in the future. Um, yeah, but those are the three summer exclusives. We've got some pictures on the inside and then of course Frozen Charlotte on the back. But there was that. Um, they also sent this really cool uh, Gomez coaster. This is not a sticker. It's a coaster. Uh, and on the back it says, uh, thank you for being a MezcoToys.com customer. Our products are made by collectors for collectors, which is a cool tagline. I like that. But yeah, little gold Gomez coaster. And then of course, there's a possibility that you can get the little keychain Mezet. Now, there are four different colors, I believe. We've got uh, sapphire, gold, smoke, and tangerine. So, I got the smoke one, which I'll show you in a second. But if you're wondering what the heck is this, one, it's just a free little keychain. Do with it as you will. Two, they're actually a little contest. Um, if you got a tangerine one, if you take a picture of it with yourself and use the hashtag mezitsmania uh, and post it, and that's mez it's it's with a Z, mania, all one word. Uh, the orange one or tangerine one is for Twitter, I believe, and that's for a chance to win a free Batman Beyond. Um, and then the smoke one is for, oh no, the smoke one's for Twitter, tangerine one's for Instagram, I apologize. And then the sapphire one is for Facebook. Um, so if you post a picture, you have a chance to win. Uh, this is for the Punisher, orange is for Batman Beyond, and then the blue, of course, is for Frozen Charlotte, which we're going to be taking a look at today. But here is the uh, keychain mezzet. Super cute. It is uh, ball jointed on the neck, uh, just kind of a little bit of a ball joint on the leg, so you can twist it there. Not a full ball joint, but, and then just regular jointed for arms. But super cute, nice little free toy. I always appreciate a free toy. Came in this little blind bag, if you're wondering. So uh, you don't know which one you're going to get. Oh, and then the gold one. Uh, if you got a gold one, make sure you look on it to see if you've got a four-digit code. If there is a four-digit code, I think it's pretty prominent on it, um, you automatically won. So you can go to Mezco Toys, put that code in, and see what you got. Um, but yeah, but that's the Mezit. So let's take a look at the doll, shall we? Well, first, we're going to take a look at the coffin. So it's a pretty standard Living Dead Dolls coffin. Um, yeah, nothing too out of the ordinary, except that the way that they did the inside is drastically different than they've done it before. Um, and I think there's some great things about it. I think there's some things that I don't love as much, but I still think it's pretty cool. So we've got the same kind of plastic cover that we always have and it does have a little sticker there that says um, Living Dead Dolls 20 Years of Terror so they're branding for that and then uh, I'll show you the chipboard right off the bat so it is it's a picture of the doll kind of you know frozen in the ice Living Dead Dolls Resurrection 12 frozen Charlotte and it is jagged here but you're gonna notice that this is plastic you see all this plastic here so instead of the tissue paper we actually have a plastic covering. So I'm going to show you the way that it works. Ooh, ah. Let me get all this out. So they've actually created a plastic covering, and it's very much like what we first saw with Pennywise, I believe, 
where it's one piece of plastic that goes over the top. So you can put the doll here, it goes over top, uh, and it displays nicely. And if you're an open collector, uh, it still has kind of a sealed feel, feel which I appreciate. And then the, um, the death certificate's there in the back. And then what they did for the color that we got with the tissue paper is they actually used colored cardboard on the inside of this, right? Now I will say you want to be careful with this colored cardboard because when you're putting the plastic back into this, it tends to catch on the edges. So I've had a, a little bit of a struggle getting it back in, so I'm not going to futz with it in this video. But just be aware that you want to be careful with that, especially if you, you like to display your dolls sealed in the coffin. Um, but other than that, I think it's pretty nice. It's, it's changing things up. Looks cool. Yeah, pretty neat. So let's take a look at the doll, shall we? Boom. There she is in all her glory. Um, she's really cute. She's like sickeningly sweet cute, uh, which some people love, some people hate, but I love the cutesy kind of dolls that are just haunting, and she is definitely one of those. So let's take a look at her outfit. Uh, we'll start with the shoes. The shoes, I believe, are exactly the same, and I'll show you the original one. I'm pretty sure they're exactly the same. Oh, slightly different. Uh, so it's just Living Dead Dolls boots, right? And then they do have the ice skates built right there on the bottom. She does have little pom-poms on the front, and there is kind of a fuzz coloring around the edge. Now, looking at the original doll, this part of the shoe was black on the original Frozen Charlotte. On this version, it's white, which I actually like because it feels a little bit more like an actual um, ice skate, which is pretty nice. Uh, no socks, but she does have the famous Living Dead Doll striped tights. They are blue and white. Uh, they are cotton, so they're pretty nice. I wanna see if it goes all the way down. Yes, yeah, so it is a footed shoe. Obviously, it's not just, um, yeah, so it goes all the way around her foot. So you don't have to worry about keeping it down or anything like that within the ooh, ice skate. Come on, get back in there. There we go. So there's that. Next we have this uh, coat, which is super, super cute. It's actually pretty simple in design. Uh, it's just kind of, what is that? It's like a fleece material, right? So nothing too fancy. It is Velcroed up the front. So there's nothing on the back, it's just like a regular coat. So we do have it kind of sewn at the bottom of the bodice there. No flare out in the sleeves or anything like that. She does have a collar. Um, it doesn't lay down, whoops, popping her hat off. There we go. But I just wanna make sure you get a good look at it. Um, but it's kind of, um, she's trying to stay warm, so it's good that it's up and around her neck. And then it does have some buttons here on the front, right? Going right down the front there. And then this big bow, which is the same material as the coat. There's no padding in there, but because it's thick material, it does kind of pop off her chest pretty prominently. Now I will open this up so you can see that there's nothing underneath. It's just the standard uh, Velcro front, right? So those buttons are just decorative, but uh, looks really, really cute. And then she does have the famous Living Dead Dolls Frozen Charlotte mitten gloves there. And this is the same kind of white fleece material. It's not quite as thick, but it's it's definitely fleecy. Um, yeah, but these can come off of her hand right there. So there is a little bit of elastic around the edge of the hand to keep those gloves on. So they shouldn't fall off. But you do want to be careful because if you are an open collector, losing a glove is a real bummer. Um, I like the simple nature of her a little bit more than the original. There was a lot going on with the original, um, but she just, I don't know, she looks super haunting and beautiful. Where this doll is really special, in my opinion, in regards to the outfit, is this beautiful hat. Look at this detail on this hat. This like knitted, cute, cute hat with this giant puff on the top. I freaking love it. And then we've got these two little pulls with little uh, balls on the end. Now, when you get this doll out of the box, they do have this tied around her neck, which you can do, so it's a little bit more like that. I kind of like having her bobbed hair sticking out a little bit. I think it's a cuter display, but you can display her however you want. Uh, speaking of the hair, let's take a look at it. I 
love the bobbed Living Dead doll haircut that they've been doing recently. I'm thinking like Colette, stuff like that. It's nice, simple hair. It looks good on the doll. And on top of that, it's pretty thickly rooted. It lays nicely, no bald spots, feels good if you like to run your hair through dolls. Uh, light hands through doll's hair, which sounds pretty gross, I guess, but I kind of enjoy it. <laughs> Oh, come on we're doll collectors we like stuff like that uh but yeah but there we go so let's take a look at her face right now this is actually a different face mold a lot of people weren't realizing that but you can see that her lower lip is kind of sucked in like she's pouting like I'll, i'm gonna hold it sideways so you can see you see that i do it against the hat boom so there's definitely a different mold there especially around her mouth she looks really really sad i mean it's a beautiful beautiful paint job gorgeous blue eyes and the crack detail is really nice it goes all the way down the side of her face there right on her neck and then you can see that it actually makes its way past the hairline too so you can actually see some crack detail up here under the white so it kind of goes up the side of her face it's really really beautiful and i love it now i haven't seen any crack detail on any other part of her body um so just just the face and the head but i don't mind i think it's awfully beautiful i love the little sad eyebrows and the little eyelashes coming down off the side it's a uh, really nice detail yeah but that is pretty much it for the doll there's not too much to show she's pretty simple she is gorgeous gorgeous i think they've been making some fantastic Resurrection dolls recently, and I cannot wait to see what's in store coming up. So we're gonna keep an eye out for that. But before I end this video, I want to make sure we show it her against the original. So here comes the original. Bada boom! There she is. There's the original Frozen Charlotte. Now, Frozen Charlotte had some crazy hair issues, right? Look at those bangs. That's straight out of 1994. Um, and then uh, she, of course, had the earmuffs versus this really cute knitted hat, which I'm living for. There's also a lot more fur on this doll uh, than this one. But again, I kind of like the simplicity of it. It's There's not too much craziness going on. And then, of course, like I said, the skates are slightly different on the bottom. But yeah, they're both beautiful, beautiful dolls. Of course, Frozen Charlotte is an iconic Living Dead doll. And hopefully uh, the Resurrection version will go down in history as well. So yeah. So that's it. That's Frozen Charlotte. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. Um, I do want to say, uh, I've mentioned this on the boards, uh, the boards being Facebook groups, um, but I'm actually going to get married soon, which is pretty cool. Uh, boom, wedding ring. Look at that. Hey. Uh, but to pay for the wedding, I'm going to be selling some of my series dolls. So I'm going to parse my collection down to a more manageable amount. A um, little bit of an end of an era for having this huge display behind me, but uh, but hey, marriage is pretty cool, and I'm worth shedding a few of my items to pay for something that that rad. So uh, keep an eye out on the Facebook groups. I'm going to be selling some of these, and I'll try to give people a good deal. Um, but yeah, but that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I hope to see you soon. Bye. Cold never bothered me anyway